What's going on everybody for today's video we have a Hasbro Speedstorm battle between Super Hyperion and Curse the Tomb. Now I found it kind of funny at the start of uh, the start of Beyblade Burst Surge. I found it pretty funny how like Hyuga and Silas were like the worst of enemies you know. They definitely had a very strong rivalry there. They definitely hated each other at the start. They eventually did become friends though but I really found that awesome you know Hyuga and Silas were like super funny. You know, I mean, it, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who haven't watched it yet, but definitely. Hyuga and Silas are awesome rivals and they're bays. Super Hyperion and Curse the Tomb are definitely really cool in the Hasbro form. So we have the Volt Knockout set. We might switch it up to other Speedstorm stadiums later on in the video. But for now, we have the battles in the Volt Knockout battle set. So without further ado, let's go and check it out. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Some huge hits. And Curse the Tomb with the round one win. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Ooh. And Curse the Tomb with a another win right there. You know, I gotta say, I think if Super Hyperion just, you know, gets a little bit of more of attacks in, Curse of the Team is definitely a tough Speedstorm Bay, though. It's definitely one of the best. It's got that gimmick with the rollers and all that. And Universe Speedstorm is actually a pretty good driver, at least for Hasbro. But, you know, Super Hyperion is gonna have to do a lot more than that to take a win. So the score is now 2-0. 3-2-1, go shoot! Come on, Super Hyperion, take a couple of wins here. Oh! Oh, I think Curse's team take, took that win right there. Yeah, it kind of like had that last rotation. We're gonna give that win to Curse the Tomb. You know, I feel like we do need to upgrade Super Hyperion just like a little bit. I don't know what to use though. Maybe we should give it like a chassis maybe. We can try 1A. I mean, 1A for Mirage Fafnir, I mean, it's pretty good, but I don't know, it probably would be better than the seven disc. So let's let's see how this works with one attack now. So we have Super Hyperion, 1A, Exceed, Speedstorm. Three, two, one, go, shoot! Oh! Go, shoot! I, I... I literally really thought Super Hyperion was going to become better, but wow, that was definitely the opposite of doing better. Curse the Tomb just absolutely destroys it. That's okay though, I mean, I just wanted to try that out. I didn't know if it would work or not. I was expecting that to happen, but I did not expect Super Hyperion to get roasted that bad. <laughs> you know, so that was really, that was really bad though. We'll try a couple more battles with the 1A disc for Super Hyperion, but if it doesn't work, we'll just switch it back to its regular disc. 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Come on, Super Hyperion, you Super Strike or something, I don't even know. Just do something! Aw, oh, come on, man. I don't know what else to do. I mean, we could try one more game with this 1A disc. I'm thinking we need to change the driver though, Exceed Speedstorm isn't that great in my opinion, but, you know, I think we'll try a couple more games with this driver. 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Come on Hyperion! Yes! Super Hyperion takes a win! Let's go! Okay, that was all I was hoping for, honestly. Curse of Tomb is finally defeated for the first time in this video. Super Hyperion takes the win. The new score is now 6 to 1. 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Come on, Hyperion. Ooh, can it take the win? Yes, Hyperion takes another win! Are we in Comeback City right now? Three, two, one, go, shoot! Oh. 
Come on. Hyperion, let's go. Yes. Wow. Hyperion with another win. Three, two, one. Go shoot. Oh, Super Hyperion with some insane attacks. Come on, get the burst. Oh, I think that was Cursed Team right there. And you can see the wobble. Go shoot. Oh, Super Hyperion with some insane attacks. Come on, get the burst. All right, we'll give that to Curse the Tomb. Technically though, Curse the Tomb does have the advantage because it's defense type versus attack type. But still, I think Super Hyperion could win. I mean, I don't know, but it's getting pretty close right now. The score is now seven to three. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Come on, Hyperion. Yes. Oh, it's the Tomb with insane defense. Oh my god, you cannot break through. The rollers are actually pretty good, not gonna lie. They're actually pretty good at absorbing damage. Super Hyperion is nowhere close to bursting either. All right, looking good. The new score is now eight to three. Three, two, one, go, shoot. I don't think I've ever seen Curse the Team burst. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's good news at least. I mean, at least Super Hyperion took the win. Three, two, one, go, shoot! Universe trip! Whoa, whoa! Curse the tomb! You gotta be kidding me! What was that right there? Psych! That's the wrong number. Oh! oh. Well, technically, Super Hyperion takes that win. I mean, even though the wobble, it was only because Super Hyperion hit it. Go shoot! Whoa! Whoa! Curse the tomb! You gotta be kidding me! What was that right there? Oh! Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh, huge hit! Looks like Satoom takes that win. New score is now nine to five. So Curse the Tomb is one point away from taking today's win. Three, two, one, go shoot! This is what a real attack looks like. Go Satoom! Universe Drift! Well, that was a pretty crazy burst finish right there. That was a crazy burst right there. So it looks like with a score of 11 to five, Curse the Tomb has taken today's win. I gotta say, Curse the Tomb is definitely one of the best Speedstorm pays. I feel like wave one of Speedstorm for Hasbro was solid, okay? There were some amazing bays in wave one for Hasbro and Curse the Tomb was definitely one of them. In the end though, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.